First Warn 5 Weather with Matt Holliner. 642 this morning. That cold front is getting ever closer. We've been tracking it since the beginning of the week, and it's slowly making progress to the east and slowly making progress to the south. Finally, tonight, it's going to arrive in our area and bring us that chance of rain that we've been talking about. It seems like for days now, it's like there's going to be rain, there's going to be rain, but there's not going to be a ton of rain. Now, we do have a chance for severe storms tonight. That's why we're under a marginal risk of severe weather. Uh, it's for the evening and overnight hours. Uh, it does include everybody in the valley, but I've got to say I would not be surprised if a little bit later on today, the Storm Prediction Center updates this uh, several times throughout the day, if they drop the lower valley because it really looks like if we're going to see some damaging wind, which is the only thing we're concerned about. We're not concerned about hail, certainly not tornadoes, no flash flooding. Uh, if we're going to see some damaging wind gusts, it would be out in Star County as the storms initially move in. Uh, I've, I've got to say, though, I'm really not impressed with this uh, severe weather threat overall. I really don't want people to get too worried about it. Uh, there's going to be some thunderstorms, but as you're going to see here, not a lot. Uh, 9 a.m. this morning, lots of clouds to start the day, but I do think those clouds are going to thin out. And during the early afternoon, we're going to have a period of partly cloudy skies. We're going to see highs around 90. Feels like temperatures in the mid 90s, though, and it's going to be breezy once again. Uh, now, notice at 7 o'clock this evening, look where the storms are in Star County, but the rest of the valley dry. And I think really that's going to be the case for the rest of the evening and overnight hours. We jump ahead to 10 o'clock this evening. Notice how there's some little bit of green showing up in the lower valley finally, but notice that those shades of red and orange, which would be the potential severe storms, uh, you're not seeing that anymore. Uh, the later on that we get that rain chance in the rain in here, uh, the lower that severe weather threat. So it's a very small severe weather threat. Uh, I really don't want folks to worry too much about it. It's going to be uh, isolated showers and storms throughout the evening and overnight hours. Again, best chance in Star County, lower chances out towards the coast. Notice that when we finally have green spread out across the entire valley, it's, it's 1 a.m. Uh, so yes, have an umbrella ready to go this evening and overnight, but don't cancel your plans. Uh, because it's not going to be raining all night. At any given time, much of the valley is probably going to be dry. But the chance of rain does linger into tomorrow morning. There's going to be isolated showers around. Into tomorrow afternoon, isolated showers. Notice how the clouds actually thin out a little bit. I do think we're actually going to see a little bit of sun tomorrow afternoon. And it's not going to be raining all day long. Again, another day, have the umbrella ready, but it's not, it's not going to be raining all day. You're not going to need the umbrella all day. And by 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, I think we're dry. And then Saturday night looks dry and all of Sunday looks dry. So it's not going to be raining all weekend long. 90 degrees, our high temperature today. Mostly cloudy skies overall with a period of partly cloudy skies. It's going to be breezy with gusts around 25 miles per hour. It's going to be humid. It's going to feel like the mid 90s. And late this afternoon in Star County, a few storms are possible. And then for the rest of the valley, isolated storms during the evening, isolated showers late tonight. Overall, about a 40% chance of rain. That means that some are going to miss out on the rain chance. And eventually, we will cool down to 72. Looking in on Saturday, Cinco de Mayo, mostly cloudy skies, highs around 86. We will be cooler, off and on showers. It's not going to be raining all day, but there are going to be showers around, so have the umbrella ready. If you're trying to make plans for the weekend and want to make sure you're completely dry, wait until Sunday. It will be completely dry on Sunday. Notice we're already warming back up to 90, but because the humidity is going to be dropping, we're going to start out with mostly cloudy skies. It'll become sunny in the afternoon, so that 90 really is going to feel like 90 degrees, unlike today when it's going to feel more like 94, maybe even 95 degrees. And then pretty quiet weather, sunny to partly cloudy skies, a low humidity to start the week, but then getting more humid by the time we get to Thursday. Well